What is up guys? It's the forehand guy. I'm playing with Alex again who's currently ranked 714 in the world. Make sure to watch to the end of the video because we play a set, we play some baseline games, and we do a serve and return drill you're not going to want to miss. Right here we're playing this fun forehand game where you play the point cross court but instead of using that regular middle line you'd always use for cross court points, we drew our own line two racket lengths from the center mark right about here making the court we had to cover a lot bigger. We were also only allowed to hit forehand so if you hit a backhand you'd lose the point right away. This was pretty tough given we both both like to hit our forehands pretty hard and this is a great drill if you're trying to work on opening on dictating or covering the court better all using your forehand side it's also a good way to practice attacking down the middle since we can't hit backhands and after opening up the court this was a good way to jam each other up going straight down the middle hard deep and it's a shot i think most people aren't really practicing Here are some points from our set. Alex was serving. His first serve is huge. I felt like the whole set I was returning from the fence, which is something I never do. I usually like to step in, take the ball early on the baseline when I return. Shout out to my friend Ugo. That drop shot is dedicated to him. He's helped me so much on it. I got to get him on one of these videos so he can help you guys out too. He is the master of the drop shot. If you're watching this right now, I just want to say thank you so much. My goal is to help. Hopefully, I can teach you something or motivate you to go after your dreams. If you want to help me help you, please leave a comment on what you want to see me make a video on next. Your comment could help tons of players. That would be so awesome, and it would mean so much to me. Me and him both like to dictate points with our forehands. Something I like to do when I'm on the other side of this is play every ball deep as I can, but also in the middle because this makes it so they can't hit any angles and it's very hard for them to attack. You can see here, high balls. As long as I get it deep, there's not much he can do. But as soon as I play short right there, he's able to rip that angle and take advantage of stepping into the court. Here's an example of me trying to be 2Q. I try and do this lob volley over him, and he's like 6'5", so obviously it doesn't work. I should have just gone for the simple volley. I probably would have won the point. I'm serving slice wide. Something I've been doing on my slice wide serve recently is instead of thinking of hitting the side of the ball, I tell myself I'm going to carve the front of the ball. For some reason, this cue is what helps me really get that short angle on the serve. Huge serve here by him. You can hear me hitting the fence just trying to return this. After this practice, we talked about how the higher and higher level you get in tennis, the more the serve and the plus one become more important. This is because the serve is such a weapon at a high level, and a great player is always looking to take advantage of that next ball. Alex and I trained two days together. This day we did points, we did some competitive stuff, but the other day was all drills, all stuff working on our forehand and different kind of tips and tricks that I know will help you guys out. If you haven't seen that video yet, I'll have it linked down below in the description of this video. Quick shout out to Alex for being such an awesome training partner and letting me record. These past two days were so much fun. He's going off to play some tournaments, so wish him the best of luck, and I can't wait to play again sometime. Now we're working on a drill where Alex is working on his serve plus one and I'm working on something that not a lot of people are practicing and that is the return plus one. This is so important because whether you're in a good or bad position after your return, that next shot is so important. It will determine whether you stay on offense or if you can neutralize the point, hopefully winning the point, flipping it to offense. He's working his wide serve. This is an amazing serve for players who like to control points with their forehand, not just because you open up the court, but because it's very difficult for the returner to hit your backhand side when this serve is hit well. Most of the time, you will get a ball cross or middle-ish that you can redirect anywhere you want, and if they try to go down the line to hit your backhand, they usually start to make mistakes.
Now he's working on his kick serve. My favorite way to return a kick serve is to step in and take it on the rise. A key tip for when you're returning is to pick big targets. I like to go middle and deep because hopefully I can get them on their back foot. That way they can't step in on my return. The next thing is if I do pick a side, I think I'm going to pick forehand or I'm going to pick backhand, but I'm not trying to hit the lines on my return. I want to get into the point and hopefully I can start it on an offensive position or at least a position where he's not just going to kill me on that plus one shot. If you made it this far into the video, you're a goat for real. One last tip I want to give you. Next time you practice, don't just go out there and hit. I want you to have a goal before you step on the court. If you can stay focused on your goal throughout your practice, that is a successful session. It's less about how you play and it's more about your mindset and intention behind what you're doing during your sessions. Getting better is a long process, so just focus on getting 1% better every session. And sometimes it will happen, sometimes it won't, but keep focusing on a goal each time.